Okay, uh, just clear up some confusion going on. Guys, understanding uh, the difference in words when God uh, is uh, expressing in connotations of when you read your Bible, I mean, he that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. And then you look at uh, who's able to save the uttermost that call upon him. Whosoever shall call upon me shall have. I mean, believeth on me hath everlasting life. It could be call, not meaning physically call. It could be, I didn't mean to put it that way. I know it's believeth. But I'm trying to show you something here. When you're seeking God, you come to God, you're calling on God. Will the real God please stand up? You don't know who he is, but you're seeking. And um, God's able to get the gospel to those that seek, uh, to want to know who God really is, the true God of, that created all things where man's without excuse. So calling in and of itself does not save. Let me make that clear. Uh, uh, but you got to understand how bi the Bible does speak when calling it means he that cometh or calling or believeth. They come to him. Calling is another way of saying they're coming to him for it. Okay? But the Lord Jesus Christ does make it clear, believest thou this? Believest thou this? If you ask me for water, meaning ask, calling. I give thee living waters. You know, he, asked, he said, if you ask me, well, I mean, who it is that speaks to you? You know, there's uh, just ways of um, understanding, coming or asking or calling. I don't think that's the big issue. It's where the man's heart is, realizing they are a sinner in need of a savior. They're calling on God in the means of, it ain't the calling that saves, it's what they're believing in. God sees the heart. With the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. You know, you believe unto righteousness first. Mouth is confessing, oh, oh I do believe. I do believe. That's between you and God. That's between you and God. You believe, and out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. It's already, you, the deal is already done. You're saved. But the actual thing, I think we just make too much of it. We're overthinking it, man. Uh, the calling, the asking, the, I mean, <laughs> if you ask me, uh, you know, for bread, well, I mean, if you ask for the Holy Spirit, will he give you a piece of bread or, or I mean, a serpent or, I'm just saying, man. I think it just gets, you must believe. You must believe. Why would you ask? You ask not, you receive not because you ask not. You ask, you don't receive because you ask not. Connotation, different words for the same thing. Uh, some, I mean, calling is not the same as belief. I will not, I will not say it, but belief is the same as faith. When you call, you still must believe on what the Lord did for you at the cross and trust on him and him alone. But calling to be, you know, save me, Lord. Does that save you? You must believe on him. That alone won't save you. You can beg and plead all day long to your blue in the face, save me, Lord. But what Jesus are you calling on? I mean, are you calling because you're in and just, you just feel bad or something happened to you? What kind of salvation are we talking about? You know, that's another thing. What salvation are you talking about? Save me, Lord. When you meet business with the Lord and you want to be saved, meaning you know you're a sinner and you're on your way to hell, you say, Lord, what must I do to be saved? That's asking. What must I do to be saved? That's what the jailer asked. And they gave him an answer, didn't they? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And that's what the Lord will do with you. You come begging, calling, Lord, save me, save me. He'll ask you one thing. Do you believe? Do you believe? That's what he'll ask you. I'm telling you, I've been through this, done it. My begging, pleading, 
I mean, he'll ask you, do you believe? And if you can say, yes, Lord, I believe that what you did for me at the cross, I believe that you died for my sins. I believe that you were buried and rose again, that you are the Son of God. God come in the flesh, the Christ, the Son of God. If you can truly say that, and it is a choice. You can. That's what repentance means. It's a choice to believe. Do you believe? There you go. You got it. Got it. Quit worrying about it. It's a choice. No matter how you feel. The devil will make you feel like you ain't saved. He'll make you feel like, do you really believe? I'm not sure. Do I believe? I don't know. No. You believe because you chose to believe. And then when you believe, you got volition. And God gives you a choice to believe. And you put all that belief, that whatever little mustard seed of faith is, little mustard seed, about little to nothing at all. That's the way my, brother, my pastor said it, and I believe that. That's right. He said it right. Well, little faith to nothing at all. We have a measure of faith. Faith is not the gift. Every man's given a measure of faith. Do you, you got faith to turn on the light switch? You know that if you uh, turn on the heat in the wintertime, that thing's going to heat you up. If you get hot in the summer, you turn on your air conditioner. It's that simple, guys. It really is. It's that simple. It's so simple that men stumble over it, how simple salvation really is. But we place our trust, a little bit of trust, all of it, what you have, Whatever you got, you muster up. You put it on that Jesus, the one that died for your sins. You believe that. Yes, Lord, I believe that. You rose again from dead. Yes, Lord, I believe that. That you are the Son of God. Yes, Lord, I believe that. That you give everlasting life. Yes, Lord. Thank you for everlasting life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's what it is. Thank you, Lord. Thank him for it. Amen. Amen. God bless you.